and welcome to the channel this is another tutorial um, and we're gonna share with you the steps that is required to set up one signal with an iOS app um, if you haven't done so please subscribe and like and share this video if you find it useful so what we're gonna do today is um, share with you uh, this is my one signal and as you know that one signal one of these platform that you can do basically and literally anything when it comes to uh, um, communicating with your customers so you can not only that you can do push notification but you can do emails SMS and it goes cross-platform so iOS uh, Android flutter etc it works with all so um, so here's where the landing page of your one signal if you have many apps you're gonna see it here and we have plenty and you can see that the platform and number of subscribers um, you know navigate to the next page there's one app where I've already created a uh, I've created the app already so it's called Zakhrafa it's in Arabic and since I've created it, it shows me that now I have to set up the platform so click on set up platform and I will do this for iOS so usually we'll show the p8 authentication key and um, this is the recommendation but if you have done this in the past what's the problem that you're gonna face is if you haven't downloaded the p8 in the past then you have to revoke it and download and create it again so i've done this in the past and i can only download it once so if i lose it i must revoke it and then recreate it again and this is your prediction uh, key so I'm gonna show you the um, what I believe personally is an easier step even for the renewal in the future so what we're gonna do uh, is we're gonna do the p12 approach which is uh, more of a straightforward and if you don't have the p8 key then you can uh, basically uh, generate it so uh, we will have to a create a certificate request manually using keychain so I'm gonna pull up the keychain app and then uh, from the keychain assistant we will have to uh, go to certificate assistance and then um, request uh, a certificate from a certificate authority and you're gonna pull on put on your information And basically you put on the information and then you say uh, save it to this and then it's just gonna ask you to uh, choose a location I'm just gonna throw it on desktop for demonstration purposes and then you can show it on the finder so you have it here ready it's a uh, it's a file that a uh, EST which is basically a it's a certificate signing request I'm gonna need this in the app store uh, developer yeah so we don't need the keychain now just gonna move it aside and then uh, what we're gonna do here is we will go to the developer.apple.com and go back Go back again to certificates. Just want to check one thing up, and then we um, create a new one. And here we have to select the Apple Push Notification Service SSL under Services. So don't go to Software. Go to Services, and choose the one for Sandbox and Prediction. Uh, so this will work for both your testing and your prediction. Once, when, once you're done, click continue and let the, Apple, um, the app ID load. You're going to find your app ID here and then just want to make sure that there is 
uh, because you have to have, let's say, if you have an app with a keyboard, uh, then it will have a different identifier. So just make sure that you're selecting the one for the app and not for the uh, keyboard. Yeah, so I believe this is the one. All right, now you have to upload what you have selected, what you have generated. So the uh, the uh, upload the certificate signing request, which we have just saved in the desktop. Right, so uh, that's what we have generated. Click continue and download. Download it. We get a double click on it. Click on it. It's going to be here. Right click export and then it will ask you to give it a name just give it something that you will remember because you're going to pick it up again so i'm just going to call it uh, certificate and the app name save it once you try to save it it's going to ask you for a password and this password please remember because it's what you're going to use uh, when you upload the certificate and here it's asking you for your pc password to allow the export and it's going to say here that this is not trusted yeah, because it's not from a trusted source, it's a self-signed certificate generated from your own machine. Yeah, so we're done with the keychain and we can navigate back to one signal now and then we'll try to upload the P12 certificate file which we just generated and it's going to ask you to find it. So this is the P12 certificate. And I've generated it twice. You can generate it as many as, as you want. Now you put the certificate password here and that's what the password you use to generate or to export it. Save and continue. Okay, say no. And then say select your target is DK. Yeah, so you just say native iOS, save and continue. Now it says install the SDK. So this is where you need to go back to your Xcode and finish up the installation. And then you can um, you copy this, uh, you, the Apple ID what you will need for this DK and after that you can run a test and it will tell you whether the uh, test is successful or not so in the background the uh, integration already so I put the Apple ID uh, within my uh, code to fire up the push notification so uh, there is a, a complete documentation of how you set up uh, the SDK within your app uh, but it's not the subject of uh, this tutorial I'm happy to create one if you want that you can leave me something in the comments um, basically you your one signal uh, app ID should be placed in your app delegate uh, it's very basic SDK if you have done SDK setup before you can use CocoaPod and it will do your dependencies for you uh, it's very very straightforward so we've done that already in the code and now it's the moment of truth if you click uh, and you haven't done so you won't have any subscribers but I've already have one so I'm checking it and there we go it's already integrated it should say it should tell you now uh, one way also to see it uh, in actively you can just send the message to that test uh, ID or you can send it basically to everyone here. Everyone, hello world. And you can, oops, and just throw this in here. And then you can just send 
the view and send, they tell you one, so that's the, the app that I just fired. And you, ha you don't have really to uh, publish your app, you can just test it straight from your uh, one signal. So now we click send, and then you should be able to see when it is sent and when it is got opened. Yeah. So it got delivered, and if I refresh, yeah, it, it got delivered right away. So this is how it is. It's very straightforward. Well, thank you for watching, and again, please hit the subscribe button and uh, share your comments and thoughts about this, and I uh, wish you a great day. Peace out.